All right, what's up, guys? PJ checking, dude. We're at SEMA, bro. Absolutely insane. We're in Las Vegas, Nevada, dude. This is probably one of the sickest things to ever be on the channel since we started this journey. We're at SEMA. This is the biggest car slash truck show slash automotive industry show in the world. So, dude, first time ever at SEMA. Extremely grateful for the opportunity, bro. We got Chris Mayhew. We got Trigger Trey. You guys love Trigger Trey. What's up, guys? We're here from with the guys from Poppy's Garage, and we got Alex that wide bow tie Laz. We got a fire group, bro. Zach, Chris, and uh, CJ, Crew Diesel. So we got a fire little group. We're gonna walk through the show, man. We show you all the cool stuff, and then just keep going. Alright guys, dude, before we hop into the video, absolutely huge news. If you guys have been watching PJ Trucker for a long time, you guys know it's been a really big goal of mine to release some merch. Dude, so in the next video, finally going to release merch. I've been waiting a long time. I just want to make sure it's perfect for you guys. So dude, we got a little, you know, every, every order is going to be printed specific to your order. Bro, I'm super pumped, super excited. Thank you guys for all the support. You guys absolutely fired me up. So dude, we're going to have shirts, hats, we're going to have some like canvases for you guys. Dude, super excited, bro. Appreciate you guys for all the support. Bro, let's hop in. So you guys probably seen this one on IG. Lacey Blair just finished her rig. She actually built this camo Luma Duty. Let's go check it out. Young Dolph, dude, everybody loves the Young Dolph camo. So let's check it out and see what it looks like, man. So you know they're kind of fire with their powder coated, bro. Check it out, check it out. Dude, orange, that's obviously the Young Dolph style. Dude, we got an Elevate kit. Check out the frame. It's actually a matte army green, like an older kind of. Army green, and they did the clamps the same way. Dude, kind of fire, bro. We got the big dog four link. We got a cradle. The bloggers go hard for the like army look. Ten out of ten is fresh. That's fresh. Dude, they did the black platinum. They actually wrapped these bumpers here. I think yesterday. Dude, kind of sick, dude. You know, me and Joey have talked about building a truck at a show. I think it'd be pretty sick. We just have to mock everything up first. But dude, this truck looks pimp. And they got the tribute to the young doll. All right, man, so this is gonna be one of the biggest rows here. Behind me, we have Hunter's truck. You guys just saw in the last couple videos, we've been working on this truck. So this is, like I said, the first 26 by 16 mounted with the opposite 26 by 16. Well, I'll go straight. So obviously, man, bang, Hunter's truck. You guys see, we've been working on it. We have the big dog, Poppy's garage, 20 inch kit. We all, we all just popped out of this at SEMA. So this is actually on a set of 18 inch coilovers as well. So it's sitting pretty big. And basically it's got a front truss, four link, cradle, rear four link. But obviously the main thing on this truck that catches your attention is the big dog 26 by 16 Zomboggers. We got one up front, but in the back, we got two. We got 44 Dually Boggers, bro. This is the first in the world to run a 26 by 16 this way, a 26 by 16 that way, and an adapter in the middle, which is the custom, really custom part, to be able to run 44 inch boggers on each side of this dually setup, which is absolutely insane. So, dude, absolutely insane. We literally crunched this out so much that we missed one day of SEMA. That's how, that's how much of the crunch it was. Bro. Keep going. You guys know Joey Perp from when we went to uh, the Fury Rally, Lifted Legends Rally. Basically, this truck used to be purple, and he actually just did a new wrap that's kind of crazy. So this new wrap, if you guys look at it, it's a silver, almost diamond wrap, 
but it's really just flaky. You guys seen we've tried to work with the diamond wrap before and it didn't work out too well because of the texture. I think this is as close as you're gonna get to it. So if you guys see the little bit of flake, we got a nice little striker kit on here and then to inverse, all the purple he has underneath, he did all the sticker sets purple because before he used to have it on the big dog. The whole truck, this whole truck used to be purple. While we keep moving, bro. We got Chris Mayu here. Here, he's gonna give you some opinions. Maybe he'll give you some some honest opinions. What do we got, man? What do we got going on? I'm just a fucking steel body guy. I think this is great. Yeah, I love me a steel body, especially a frame off steel body. Look at this thing. Like frame off steel the body, painted T case. Oh, dude, look down deep there. Can you guys see the glass? Pans, deep oil pans. Oh, dude, I feel like Nick Sierra would kind of appreciate this, bro. Dude, fire, man. Little gold axles, white axle lift covers. Bro, what do you think about this Amber Search stuff? So basically, they sell like you the these. Ones. Yeah, they sell you these so that you get an even farther drop. But a lot of us are not a fan because of the way it looks right here. You know, it's controversial. Controversial. Everything's controversial. Oh. Alright, this is the key to my heart. This is all I want. Single cab dually F450. Right, exactly. Wow. This man knows what he's talking about. Yeah, this is fire. This is fire. With the platy interior, this is fucking sick. Bro. This is hard. This is hard. Not a big fan of the bumper. I don't like it when the bumpers are. I like them flush. There's too much detail for shit. Most people are coming up inspecting it. I have so much shit to go. This is fucking cool as fuck. This one? No, this thing. The F450. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is fresh. This is fresh. So we got a Jetalins Off-Roads Gold uh, Dodge Ram. Dude, basically, the only thing I have to say about this truck, obviously sick rock lights on this thing. They they made they're really good marketing it, you know, point with this truck. But they actually put it in the pretty deep water. It's kind of fresh. But JR Vlogs, if you're watching this, he got inspired to do an all chrome wrap from this gold wrap. Oh, dude, you ready, man? Oh, shit. oh boy. Oh, shit. All right, Chris actually gets uh, chubbed when he sees Blake Fitzgerald stuff. So behind me, we have H. Blake Fitzgerald, fifth gen. You guys have seen it on my channel a ton of times just because we see that every show. But basically, he keeps amping it up every single time. I'm sure Vasume did some pretty cool stuff. Let's go check it out. So Chris, dude, right off the bat, what do you think, man? Chris is first time seeing this thing in person. I think it's massive. You guys know he's a big Dodge guy, dude. So it's yeah. pretty good. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's as one of the as clean as it gets trucks. You know, yeah, sure. he's got his logo all over. If you guys see, I always tell you guys, I'm kind of a fan of that. He's got FP all over this thing, literally engraved in the lift. Custom oh, stamps. Oh yeah, there's a big dog truck next to it. That was kind of viral. But yeah, dude, basically, he's in here with the Fusion bumpers. He's in the Fusion bumpers booth. Really one of my top 10 favorite trucks on Instagram. But there's a lot of things we got to cover here in SEMA, and I want to show you guys as much as I can. So dude, basically we're gonna hop into the next truck. The next truck actually has already started breaking the internet from before it even got here. This was unveiled for SEMA and the customer re revealed it to himself here, however you say it. But basically, every single part of this truck is etched or engraved. So you guys see, they did the diff cover. You've seen engraved overlays, but never like this before. Bro, outside and inside they're all fucking engraved. Dude, so if you guys come over here, the outside of the wheel and the inside of the wheel is actually engraved as well. Dude, if these float, oh my, dude, that's a heavy cap. Bro, that's nuts. That's nuts, but you guys see coils, attention to detail the in there. The resi mounts, the tanks. Wow. Layovers, diff wow. covers. Door handles? Door handles. That's awesome. oh, Absolutely nuts. Yo, come over here. So this is something I've become a really big fan of. We have the coilovers with the airbags. I actually love when they run them up front. I think it's kind of cool. I wouldn't like to do something like that. So we got a couple of JTX Duramaxes here. Super fire, dude. So you guys see the big dog 24 Duramaxes. Honestly, you guys, you're crazy. I'm a big I'm a big Super Duty guy, but when I see a nasty 24 Duramax, super fire. I'm pretty sure this is I'll teach you how to skate. Which if it is... No way. Bro, this is I'll teach you how to skate Duramax. Bro, super controversial. He always gets on Nick Hollinger. Bro, dude, this is one of the hardest Duramaxes on the internet. He's a big chrome guy, so he chromed a lot of stuff. Obviously, the chrome crossmember, chrome sway bar. Bro, nuts. This thing is pimp. 
This seems Pip. I'd like to meet this guy, see where he's at. And then check this rig out, bro. This is a unit. Check out all the chrome on this one, bro. Actually nuts. Everything chrome. If you guys don't know, chroming stuff is a way different ball game than powder coating. Very expensive, way harder to maintain. But obviously, look at the look, you guys. Look, the truck is floating. Absolutely nuts. We got the big dog JTXs and the Fury MT2s, which is absolutely... They're sick. They're sick. This truck's wide, bro. This truck's wide. All right, bro. Check out the rear coilover setup on these Duramaxes. Dude, check this out. Come in. Bro, so we have a rear four link. Dude, bro, this is nuts. This is actually a very nice design kit. And then we got a little rear coilover action going on to eliminate the leaf springs. And a fully chromed out exhaust. And we got the same setup over here. Dude, this is nice. This is actually super sick for a Duramax. Because a lot of times when you look under, the leaf springs on a Duramax cover so much and there's not so much you could do. Bro, fire. This is nice. This is a very nice design kit. Oh, is then we got another piece? Young Dolph tribute coming up. Lamb Dooley. I know Chris is already falling in love. Bro, my favorite part of the Young Dolph camo versus the other camo is how exaggerated and big the camo pieces are. Bro, so we got another Young Dolph tribute here. Absolutely insane interior. Bro. PJ, they're 30s. Alright, they're 30s, man. Tucking 30s. Check out the paint match on the mirrors. Orange to do the Young Dolph contrast. Bro, so that's two Young Dolph trucks tributed. Absolutely not. Absolutely Alright, so this is one of the latest trucks that just got built for SEMA. Dude, she posted one of the hardest captions ever. She's posted like, I popped out and then I popped out again or something. Kind of fire. Something like that. Like, you pop out once until you do it twice. Something like that. But bro, first gen Barbie came back. She built a sick fifth gen. Absolutely insane first gen Barbie floating caps. Dude, a little bit engraving in the wheels with a little Barbie. Dude, check out the color, bro. Bro, there's an insane flake. They bro, big airbag setup. Chris, I know. what are you thinking? Bro, so this guy, Chris Mayu right here, you guys know he loves Ford Gens, Fit Gens, Star Gens. Dodges. He's actually in love with the girl on this truck. I don't even know what she looks like. But he's never, never met her, and we're going to make the connect happen, bro. Uh -oh. Is she attractive, at least? Dude, so this is going to be our big unit right here. This is where a lot of the trucks are lined up. We can already see Gabe from here. Dude, we can see Gio's old truck from here. So we're gonna go down this way and then make a way around. But you can see this is gonna be the big lineup right here. This is the Pink Poppies kit. We got a couple things going on if you check out here. So this is the middle, the middle kit. This is the 10 to 12 inch kit. We got this is actually the first generation as well. We got a mini cradle, four link, coilovers on a 10 to 12 inch kit, which is fire. We got the sway bar, powder coated axles, frame plates. And dude, if you guys see, I say this is the first gen. The second gen of this kit is gonna have straight arms. So from now on, after least. SEMA, when you order it, you're gonna start getting the straight arms. I see, Phil the potties are growing. All right, this is Ashley Hawaii's truck. Uh, dude, just fire, just a fire truck. Black any level, a lot of pink. I think for the girl, girl lineup, she's up definitely in the top ten. Uh, fire, fire. Max Hawaii. Max Forge wheels from KG1 to so go hard. That's the girl that I was telling you about. Who's that? The girl from Instagram, the blonde. The hot blonde. Dude, this is this is a clouded little circle right here, bro. Check out the people. Look at this road. Autograph? Yeah, what are we paying for? Make it at least make it look like you say this at least. That's the point. Wait, we can all start cheering. Oh, right here we got another Poppy's Garage. I bro, like I said, I call it a Poppy's Garage truck. It belongs to. It's we call this build the bombshell build. It's on another 10 to 12 inch, the middle kit. It happens to belong to a girl, and it's pink as well. Dude, fire! It's got. Let's just check it out real quick. Chris, did you weld this one? If you guys don't know, Chris is actually a welder for Poppy's Garage. He is the welder. You guys know him from before. I think it's super authentic. He's the actual welder. Did you weld this kit? I don't remember to be honest. I welded one of these 12 inch kits, and I don't know if it's this one or that one that's over there. Yeah, he just crossed. So we got another 12 inch Poppy's kit with front coilovers, which is always cool to see people throw coilovers on the middle kit. And like I said, this is the first generation. From now on, you'll have straight bars. We got four link rear traction bars, 63 inch traction bars, two piece heim joints. 
the, the mic heard none of that. And again, another set of photopaldies. These are a little bit small for my liking, man, but I'm starting to become a photopaldi guy. On the low, on the low key, like I love KG1s, yeah? and obviously American Forces especially. Oh, another Sima Gear place. Oh my god, bro. What up, dude? Look, right, right, right in the, in the middle of the vlog, bro. Literally vlogging. How you doing, bro? Dude, we're just vlogging. Everybody's yeah, vlogging now. Who's this bro, guy, bro? Everybody's vlogging now. Check this out. Bro, we're gonna have to start live streaming or something. <laughs> that was so good, bro. That was so good. Bro. Right now, I'm Adrian, but really, I'm PJ Truckin. Bro, we got Mitch here. Bro, basically, this guy soaked the gold truck in the water. That was my favorite content. I love that you actually saw that shit, bro. That, that means that I'm actually doing something and fucking making an impact, so that's good. Hey, bro, we use this slogan all the time. Yo, this is, we're gonna use some redneck science, bro. Are you doing, boss? I'm doing, bro. Oh, fucking tired. Dude, he's tired, man. Dude, he always says it, redneck science. Kind of nuts, bro. It's like, yeah, that's With okay. the, the Cummins swap Mustang? Yeah, Cummins swap Mustang, bro. That's it. All right. All right. We were about to take a group picture, but I think, I think we're about to watch something else. Oh, sexy red? Man, this is it. This is the moment, bro. The big SEMA sign I've seen for since I was a little kid, man. Kind of crazy to be here for real, but super great experience. This show's actually nuts. The the talk of the day is you can't walk the whole entire show, like in general. So I kind of just want to prove him wrong and walk the whole entire show. And I want to show you guys all of it. Oh, it's a gold. All right, so this is actually a hell of a lineup right here. So you guys seen this truck actually at Music City Showdown? We saw it the first time it came out. Dude, and then we got BCC Zach, one of the biggest guys in the game. Absolutely kills it. I'm a huge fan of the black on black on black powder coat. Obviously, the big dog gold wheels. What am I doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't like it. Got his cancel. Now you got his cancel. This is actually skating, bro. It's actually huge. It's actually huge. All right, I believe this is the Runaway 1500 or whatever, dude. This is the truck that they started in, put it in reverse. Let's see if he came back hard. Let's see. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I saw this thing get pushed into this spot on these. No! Yeah, you didn't see that? Bro, the runaway. Pop up the clip. Theo here, our friend Gio, Abigail, Gabe's girlfriend, bought this truck. She already changed it up a little bit. Let's just check over what she changed up. Because we see this every show. Now we got a set of Liberties on this thing. We got a set of Fury MT2s on here. Dude, way different than when our buddy Gio had it. Uh, Chris, what do you think? You like this setup more than when Gio had it? Oh look, we're FaceTiming. We're FaceTiming Gio. Let's see what Gio has to say about this. Yeah. So basically this guy, bro, he buys everything before the YouTubers buy it. Alright, Gio. Yo, Gio. Gio, you're on camera. What do you think? Change up the setup. Fury MT2s, set of liberties, horn blaster sponsor. You see this? What do you think? <laughs> oh my god, bro! You're gonna get us canceled. You're supposed to say it's super sick. I'm. Right. Oh no! Oh no! Buddy, what happened to you last night? Is that bro? PJ trucking? No, no, I'm Zach Frisk, bro. And oh, I did yeah, some naughty things. That guy literally sucks, Yo, bro. This guy I'm was trying to bang here. all different ethnicities yesterday. He's banging a Mexican. Ethnicity. Yeah, and now you cut the. <laughs> 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 you know. Oh! oh. Bro, bro, bro. You're finally dry, bro. It's kind of nice to see it. Nice to see it. Yeah, dude, this guy was wet. Bro, bro, I got Cam here, bro. This is, uh, bro, this is how you introduce a customer, bro. We got Cam, bro. Cam picked up his truck today, bro. Or yesterday, technically. What do you think, man? Did you see it yet? I haven't even seen it yet, bro. Go west. Go west, all. Where's north? I need to go north for the very podcast. He just starts screaming it, bro. He would, too. All right, man, we're inside. Bro, this loves the laser table. How far would your wheels be? Dude, that's some cold. Chris, if you had this, I could film Chris weld everything. There's a whole room for the glasses. Like so basically, this is actually a huge moment. Bro, we're actually about to go on the Fury podcast. So they have a little Fury podcast called Tread Talk. I think it's going to be kind of sick. Uh, I, I'm a little bit nervous about first podcast ever. Uh, right now, they got Alex that wide bow tie on it. I'm curious to see what other guests go on there, and I'm curious to see what questions they ask. So they're really good at marketing, and they really 
are trying to do something cool as far as pushing tires, like more than just a tire. So kind of fire, dude. I really love like the what they're doing with it, you know. So some people are like happy where they're at. Some people want to keep growing, and I love working with companies that want to keep growing. So I'm gonna be fired to hop on the pod. Let's see how it goes. Fury, Fury's the goat. Dude. Get some Furies. He's the goat, man. He's the goat, dude. This guy's the goat, man. <laughs> See you later, man. Thank you for everything, bro. Alex today, here, bro. So basically, Alex has been here for two weeks now, basically. I by himself. flew in last Friday, and it is Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yes, it's, it's Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, so I've been here for almost a week now. And, and another super controversial thing, bro. We're here when it's closed, bro. Actually, yeah, we can take a nice here. lap. It's we can take a nice lap. about 5.15. And we were just doing podcasts and stuff, and I looked up and it's like, <laughs> Yo, why is that guy laughing about this? Because we're holding cameras? I had, I had what up, man? We're here for a whole hey, week. Yo, Chris, and I just <laughs> We got Manny from Poppy's Garage, or is it Poppy from Manny's Garage? Something like that. Something like All that? Like bro, bro, I, I got one favor for you, bro. If you see something that you find cool, bro, I know you engineer a lot of things. If you see something you find cool, you just put it on, man. I got you, man. He's his own work. Ten. Oh, what a Yo, unit of a group, bro. <laughs> dude, dude, bro. dude, you see yeah, these buggers? Right they're going through the mud. They're going through the mud. Literally ridiculous. Right? Yeah, they're going through the mud right there, man. What up, man? What up? Dude. Adrenaline? What's up, man? How you doing, bro? Dude. Dude, we literally. The fan that is asking bro. for Joey. Bro. Joey, why aren't you here, bro? We, Tell him, bro. We're, we're literally bro, at one. Airplanes were made years ago. Dude, literally years ago, bro. You should be here. He was afraid to get on the plane. What? what? He's actually here. Four Pika Peril. How are you? Actually here. Thank you, Cheryl. What's up? Hey, bro. How are you, buddy? Good, good, good. Oh, no, man. Hey. Bro, what? Bro, double hug on that one, bro. Look, bro. hey, hey. Bro, brother right here, look, brother. Look, oh, he's look. always taking over the It's camera, my boy bro. right bro. here, PJ dude, Trucking. Best collab. And we out there. He's sticking with the look, rap that we, we drew on look. at Michael's, bro. Of course we did. And now he's got to cut some sick interior. You, you know what? Look. He's screaming louder than me, bro. Everybody's screaming louder than me. All right, what's up, guys? We got Hazleton Media here. Bro, we got H. Blake Fitzgerald, sick fifth gen. Bro. Just keeps getting better, bro. You want me to go louder? I go. <laughs> Gabe's, Gabe's truck is ready, dude. It could go up 20 inches from that height. Dude, this is another big build that just came out. Two horsepower diesel. They kind of thugged out a SEMA crunch right before. Sick color wrap. It's a flatbed. You guys know? Dude, I love flatbeds, bro. That's a fire unit. I'm telling you, they're coming up. They're coming up. Broke my fucking leg. Bro, that thing's big. A 23? Damn. Bro, oh, Sammy. Oh, bro, I don't care. You already know. Bro, what do you think of that 23, man? Sheesh. Dude, and we got Helion over here, man. Bro, what'd you call? Bro, is that a PJ trucking on the windshield? No way. Bro, we got a PJ trucking on the windshield. What? Bro, I never saw that. You didn't see that? You didn't put no. that up there? No. Crazy. Bro, sure? check sure out the GM that? kit. The first one. Bro, check out this actually, knuckle. This Absolutely one, insane. It's just, it's just this one made it here first. <laughs> the other one's not here? I actually have the other shrimp. I know. I've made that. Made I know. Technology. I'm saying it's not here yet, technically. Oh, it's not even bro. I didn't know it was here. No, it's here. It's here. Bro, it. check right out that seat. plate, bro. Dude, that is just such a clean kit, bro. So I think it's starting to become bias or something, bro. I will tell you straight up if I don't like something, bro. And obviously, I understand there's a lot of development that still needs to continue, bro. Nobody's saying it's done. But, dude, that is just so clean, bro. Like, dude, I secretly like it more than the Super Duty kits. Bro, that is nuts. That is nuts. And Mike's 23 is sitting huge, bro. That is not even the biggest truck we brought. And we got Sammy's new wrap right here. So basically, Sammy wrapped his truck to Matt for his business, basically. Redhead in South Beach. So basically, dude, this is a graphic wrap truck now. It used to be a black. And that is that, you know, that truck has been on the channel for a long time now, over years now. And basically, it started off as a black truck on a little lift, and now it's on a big dog lift, and it's a graphic wrap. Bro, fire. Bro, so we got Mike's 2023 here on our Monty Ford. So this is the 20 inch kit. This kit's actually cranked down. So you guys have seen the height that we could stretch these twos. You might see them in a little bit. But bro, check out. This is a super aggressive height. Bro, this is a 2022. This thing is wicked, bro. Wicked. Bro. I like this a lot. I like bro, this color a lot. Man, with black overlays. 
black with tan. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, because they actually like inverted. It. Look, look how they did the frame yeah, plates. Yeah, yeah, like tan lot. with black overlays, but then here they did black with tan overlays. You guys know I love the flat bed, bro. Dude. Dude, this thing's big, bro. bro. So this is a guy named Dom's truck. Obviously a graphic rack truck. The same kit we installed on Cameron's truck, except it's cranked up way higher because it's got bigger coilovers. Dude, so they did a lot of gold and black. Black springs up top on the coilovers. Dude, this thing's sitting big, dog. Wow. Chris, may you approve? Chris, may you approve? Yeah. Wow. Dude, this thing is sitting big. What do you think? Looks good. Looks just great. Huh? Looks great, actually. Hold that in. Looks good. Dude. How many trucks you got here, man? So we got 13. 13? 13, bro? Holy shit. Bro. <laughs> bro. Whoa, dude. Steel body excursion, bro. Dude. Dude, how do you, bro, since when do you offer air ride, bro? Chris, you would have got a kid already. Uh, that's what I'm saying, bro. He doesn't want to make one for the Dodgers. It's, it's Canada. Canada? Yeah. Can you Only available in Canada. Can you, huh? available Can you run us through it? Oh, it's same, almost about the same as our Ford kits. Just uh huh. Instead of the Kratos for the arms on the inside, they're leveled. The uh -huh. steel body's more straight. This does have the 17 axle swaps. Oh. So it's the same front on all our trucks, same truss front and rear. Oh. Same really like more round. Dude, so they put a 2017 axle on here, so it's really easy to fabricate this lift. I'm telling you guys, we got it in like a this side. Dude, wow. We'll come back to this one in the daylight tomorrow. But dude, now we got a Ram Ford like kit. I don't understand why Chris is not on this kit already. I think it looks great. What are you waiting for? Bro, Chris, what are you waiting for? Bro, funny thing is, a half of it is welded already. Perfect. Bro, another one, bro. Oh, this one's got the rock dude, lights. Powder coated Rams, kind of. Yeah, why do you not have this kit already, bro? And why are you not at this height? This height's way sick. I'm poor. I'm poor. Bro, you weld the I'm lift poor. kits. Just work overtime. Bro, this looks really good, bro. Dude, this looks really good. These are brush finish. Brush finish overlays, bro. That's fire, bro. That's how everybody was. Oh, white coilovers on the inside. Good brush TISs. Dude, this looks killer. Check out the height on this unit. All right, tomorrow we'll come back because I really need to show you that. That's actually an out for customs build at SEMO, which means we have two out for customs build at site. Well, that, one bar, that bar is still bent a little bit. And end of day one, dude, I'm not sure right now if this is gonna be the end of the video. Obviously, if you're watching and it's got like 60 more minutes left, then. Uh, all right, basically day one, bro. SEMA is as insane they say it is. Filming? All right, dude, all the way in SEMA. SF Car Truck Fest. Bro! In the house. Bro, right, what is this go. guy doing all the way in SEMA, bro? You're everywhere, bro. We're everywhere. We're everywhere. Everywhere. Man. Tell them where we're going to be in 2024. Super important. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. November 24th. Um, we're going to be in Switzerland. We're going to be in Mexico. Nuts! But yeah, we're Mexico, taking over. What? We're taking bro, over. Bro, we're going to be in Switzerland. If you're interested, don't even ask questions. If you're interested and you're that guy, you have to take your truck to Georgia. $1,300 to get it shipped. You're gonna be there for the whole week, and then $1,300 to get it shipped back. No trucks have ever driven in Switzerland. The roads aren't even made for that. If you're interested, let me know, and we'll set it up. Bang. I'm liking it. Yeah? I'm happy I'm here. Happy slide down I'm the here. steps, slide down the steps. Whoa, whoa, that... Yo, what? Wait, did we go the wrong... Yo, we're oh, underground no. right now? This is not... We're... Yo, we're underground? Bro, is that a tunnel? What the... Yo, what? We walked back to where these guys were and they made it over south of us. They're a bus? It's a free Tesla ride. Tesla. Bro, is this a Tesla Roadster? No, it's a Model X. Model X? Bro, check out all these free Teslas. Bro, Vegas is lit. Bro, look at all these Teslas. Bro, basically... I'm hopping.
I'm hopping up front. Bro, look at that. Yo, this is OMG. OMG. You're gonna hit it? Oh yeah? Give her the beat. Yeah. Oh bro! <laughs> the Tesla Roadster! Yo, this is nuts! This is nuts, bro! Yo, what? Bro, this is no. <laughs> Oh, I go over 40, they ho they holler at me real bad. They holler so. at you? Oh yeah. my god. What? This looks like a roller coaster ride. Yo, Tom Barty, if you're watching, bro, I know you love this rig. On bags? Yeah, dude, this is one of those rigs, bro. This is my favorite Bronco on the internet, including OJ Simpson. Bro, this is so perfect. The drop shop etched in, bro. Bro, this is so Over fun. the baby blue one with the body kit? Nah. The baby blue color is fire, but I love white and black, For but sure. I love this, bro. Damn! Damn. Fit up Paldi, bro. They're on everything, bro. And in the clip right here, we got another Poppy's Duramax, and we got our truck that we just built in 15 days. I'm not even giving it to you on this video. Bro, it is what it is. You guys are going to see it in tomorrow's video. Make sure to subscribe because that truck very important to me and to us. No way! Oh, that's a bro. That's oh. a bro. Oh. 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 Original. Oh, that's great. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Hey. Is that Vivek? Vivek? Right on the street right there? Firefly. Firefly tapas. Firefly tapas. 35 bucks. What? Show him. Damn, how much? No. What do you say? No? No? Huh? <laughs> he said no? Why? Wait, yo. Yo. How much? You told me what? 50 bucks down the street? <laughs> Vivek looking. I was gonna give him 500 bucks? No. But... Yo, Sam, what happened, bro? <laughs> what just happened, Sam? I told him 50 bucks, and then motherfucker start running. Bro, he closed those doors so <laughs> aggressively. How much did you think? Sam, whatever you would have knocked How much did you think you want? 500 bucks? Yo, bro. Falcon 3 performance, what do you think? Bro. You would have done it for 50 bucks? I would have done it for 30 bucks, bro. <laughs> you would have done it for free. <laughs> you would have done it for free? <laughs> What? Down a block. I pro bono? Free all the time. Yeah. Pro bono. He loves that pro bono work. <laughs> free shit. Who doesn't? <laughs> oh, dude, Joey's going to swipe up right here. <laughs> Super important part of the video. I'd argue the most important reason that we came to SEMA in Las Vegas. Behind me, I have our first ever SEMA build. PJ Trucking is at SEMA.